Dan Johnson here at Sun and Fun 2012 and we're down in the light plane area known as Paradise City. Today we have an opportunity to, talk, opportunity to talk to Mike Tiki of the trike that he's sitting in here. Which trike are we looking at here now? Uh, this is a Sky Cycle with a Werner V4 engine on it. We're gonna have to see some more about that engine but I know Sky Cycle from quite a few years ago from one of my old favorite places to go hang glide which both Mike and I have done yes. and a whole bunch of other people in that part of the world. This is Lookout Mountain, Georgia and the Lookout Mountain Flight Park. I think they originated the Sky Cycle as a quite a bit simpler uh, basic machine to attach to a hang glider at that time. But when did you get into this Mike? Um, well I've actually built the trikes for Lookout Mountain for 13 years now. Uh, I was building it with them for seven years and I've owned the business now for for seven years on my own. And you've done pretty well. You've had a nice run of it in those seven years, I understand. You've uh, got a couple of awards for your yes. workmanship and so uh -huh. forth. Tell us a bit about that. Um, well, every year uh, I try to do improvements on the Sky Cycle to Im improve the design, the look, the ease of it, um, the style. I'm keeping up with the high tech wings that are available for, to fly with the Sky Cycle trike. I got four or five different engine options that, that are available for the trike. Um, and, and, and these are all legal Part 103 ultralights. They're all legal 103. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing. We're going to go back and look more closely at the engine because the engine, uh, the, the trikes we've seen uh, from Sky Cycle before, and uh, while they're certainly worthy of a good look themselves, what differentiates this particular one that Mike's sitting in is the engine on it. But we'll go back and look at that some more. But Part 103 is the uh, lowest end of regulation low, that is, not uh, not in uh, performance or utility or fun, certainly, but if, uh, if you don't want to have a pilot's license and you don't want to have a medical and you don't even want an end number, here's where you reside. And uh, I'm sure you don't sell these things without some training and so forth, that's pretty common. Yes. But the fact is that you don't, you don't have to go to the FAA and beg permission to go fly this thing. Mm -hmm. And that means that they have to meet some fairly strict parameters. 254 pounds of empty weight is not very much weight and on a fixed wing aircraft that that it can be done and it is done but it's pretty challenging it's a lot easier with a trike because you've just got less physical structure to add to it with this engine on it this looks like a pretty substantial engine you can still make the 254 empty weight here yes that's Excellent. right and all of your trikes meet the 254 yes that's number. right uh -huh. so uh, that's a pretty amazing thing several selections here all of which can be flown without a medical without a pilot's license and without an end number what kind of performance do we get? If you've got a lightweight engine, do you still get good performance out of one of these little craft? Yes, these have a, a really good thrust band to them. So uh, once you get up to altitude, you can really come back on the throttle. About, with this engine here, about 4,500 is level flight. Um, I'm flying a little faster and, and than And what trim. speed will you fly at that RPM level flight on a typical day or something? With this Maverick 3 wing, that's a new one, new for 2012, uh, I'm flying about 45 miles an hour. Now, if uh, your camera goes back up a little bit, you'll see that this is one of those single surface wings, we call them, with the exposed crossbar. Uh, there are other wings that are available that enclose that, and they can go a little bit faster. But these things aren't really intended to go blazing around the sky at the fastest you can go. What, is, what do people typically do with them? Uh, a lot of uh, early morning, last two hours of the day, watching sunsets, uh, doing 50-mile cross-country flights with them, uh, coming back, 
um, flying to different airports, just like uh, regular airport, airplane pilots do. They go fly them off their breakfasts and come back. But sounds with like, a, with a like fantastic the, view here, yes. I mean, you could, I'm almost in the cockpit. I can see just about everything up, down, around, uh, not directly up, because you got a wing overhead, obviously, but in every other way, this has just about as good a visibility as you get in any aircraft. Yeah, that's correct, Dan. So another aspect of the Part 103 requirement is that there's a maximum of five gallons of fuel allowed on board. And with this new engine that you've got on here, and it's so new you haven't even had a chance to measure the uh, burn rate yet, but on a typical, let's say one of your other trikes where you've got a lot of hours on them, how long does five hours, uh, five gallons of fuel typically last? Are we talking a couple of hours at once? Yes, about okay, two so hours, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, let's call it 45 miles an hour or something like that. Yes. That means you can range about 100 miles. Yes, that's right. And then get some fuel wherever that is. And uh, you can use, uh, in, these, in the Rotax engines, you can use auto gas, so it's pretty readily available. Uh, we'll find out about what the burner uses, but uh, it's a pretty reasonable thing. You can get some distance that you need. Yeah. But So now we've come around to the back of the new Sky Cycle that Mike has brought down here from his company. And we're looking at a burner engine. I flew uh, a, a burner engine many years ago on an uh, ultra light called a Talon. That was a four-cylinder engine, a, quite a substantial engine, but it had one quality that I really liked. It was very, very smooth. Now, burner, I believe, is a European-based engine. Czech, and I didn't Czech, Republic. Czech Republic, okay, where we get a lot of our LSA from. Yeah. And I'd never even seen the two-cylinder model, and I love it that it's on a Part 103 trike. So how much horsepower is this Werner engine with the horizontal, two horizontally opposed cylinders? How much engine power are we getting out of this bike? Uh, it's 35 horse. Uh, it has a substantial amount of thrust, so to get you in the air really quick, about four to five seconds, you're airborne once you give it full throttle. Yeah, this is a, well. This much power on this light a trike. That's 35 horsepower on a trike this light, or on an air, yes. aircraft this light. That's a lot of power. Yes. Uh, and that's going to move you forward briskly. But it's also got some other cool qualities. For one, a lot of people love electric starting, and that's yes. not always available on a Part 103 vehicle. This one has that, right? It has electric start. It's an oil cooler, and it's water cooled. So it's a, quite a sophisticated engine, and we've got an interesting arrangement on the carburetor here. The air filter over the carburetors looks like it's one car, but this is two carburetors, right? It has two right? carburetors, and it's got uh, hoses coming out of your head going into here, ah, so this... you'll never have a carburetor icing. Ah, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if your camera can see up here, but there's a little uh, a shroud over this that, I guess, traps some of the heat from the cylinders. Yes, it comes up out of here and, and then... It prevents the uh, possibility of carb icing then. Yeah, that's correct. Excellent. So that's a nice feature, too. Now, this is a... I see it's a belt-driven prop. Yes. And uh, then you're a belt-driven uh, uh, arrangement to the prop, and you're using a three-blade prop. Whose prop is this? This is Ultra Prop, made okay. in California. All right, so American prop on a European-made engine on an American-made trike. Yes. Pretty good combination there. <laughs> now, uh, what you're what you're providing here is everything. Everything is included here. This is not. There's not optional extras on, the, no. on this engine. Is that right? Okay. It's all included. Excellent. And what kind of delivery times are we looking at, Mike? If say somebody at the show wanted to place an order, um, six weeks. Six weeks. So not bad. We're taking them away from a customer yes. who might do that. So we want to, don't want to hold it up too long. And the reason is six, six weeks is pretty quick, though. The reason is six weeks because it takes six weeks to get a wing in once I place an order. I see. Okay. And the trike will be finished and wait for the customer when the wing gets here. And I see that you're using the North Wing wings. Yes. Uh, we uh, had a conversation with them. Another American-made uh, wing and one that I've flown quite a bit. They, they really have some nice qualities to them. Strong, they handle very nicely. Yes. Which is important in these kind of weight shift aircraft. If it's a stiff, hard thing to fly, it takes some of the joy out. These are uh, almost one-handed flyers, yes, I'm that's guessing, right. right? Yes. So that's a nice quality. You usually use two hands, of course, but one hand is enough to fly this aircraft around. Now, have you ever flown any of these strikes, Dan? I have not gotten to fly the Sky Cycle, so this is what I need to get into, and I'm really intrigued by this engine. We'll look forward to that. When that time comes, it'll be available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. All right, if we want to get some more information about, uh, and if people actually want to place an order with you, the website address is, Mike? It is flyhardtrikes.com. There we go.